Welcome back to another video. Welcome to the Euro Tunnel, the train that takes us from France back to the UK. Pretty early start this morning. It's still dark outside. I mean, obviously it's dark. We're in a tunnel. What am I talking about? But it's still dark outside. We got the tunnel at like half past seven in the morning, traveling home today from Belgium into France. And now we're going across to the UK. Got like a solid seven or eight hours of driving in total in me today. So today, guys, today's a travel day. I am trying to find the toilets right now, but I don't know. It says that we're in the first and last carriages, but I think I'm somewhere in the middle. So I reckon I'm just gonna hold on. I reckon I'm just gonna hold on until we get to the border, to the UK. All right, scrap what I said about it being dark. 30 minutes later and we are back in England, or more specifically, Folkestone and the local time is about 7 a.m. Now we're gonna commence drive back up to the north of England. I'm literally gonna spend my whole day today traveling, like literally my whole day. All right, we made it off the tunnel. We dropped Will off. He's gone to hire a car to drive back to Cornwall. Mad guy. Uh, and with Ollie still, we just quickly made a quick breakfast stop at Starbucks on the service station on the M11. We got ourselves a little porridge. Ollie's got some coffee and a croissant. And now we're making the trip back to <coughs> north. And it's raining, ironically. Some things never change. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is 4.28 in the afternoon and we have made it back home. Oh my God, guys, that was such, such a long day. Such a long day. I woke up at half past five this morning uh, in Belgium time, which was half past four in the UK. And I've been driving since around 5 a.m. English time. So that is, um, that's a lot of hours. I had to drive to Maidstone to drop off Will. And I had to drive up to Peterborough to drop off Ollie and then back home across uh, across the mine. But the M6 was busy, which is like the main motorway where I live. So I had to go up the A50, which is like a different road. And basically, guys, I've just zigzagged my way across the United Kingdom today. So, yeah, main thing is we made it home. All right, guys, good morning. What's going on? And welcome your face back to another video. We're repping the Wahoo jumper today. Shout out to Wahoo for the hoodie. But guys, uh, over the next, I think like two and a half, three weeks, I'm at home for about a day. I'm traveling to some different places and doing some different things like week after week for the next for the next few weeks. But anyway, basically, I, I'm trying to process it all in my head. So here's a bit of a list. I don't want to, I don't want to spoil where I'm going or what I'm doing. But for example, over the next couple of days, I'm heading down south to London to go and do a photo shoot. And then I'm coming back like, late at night and then the next, early the next morning, I'm flying somewhere. And then I go there for three days and then I fly back home and then again, late at night. And then early the next morning, I'm going away again. So what I'm trying to do right now is just like plan out my life on this whiteboard for the next few weeks. And just so I, like, I can process in my head what I need and when I need it. And it's just helping me organize a few things because uh, organization is key and I like to be organized. But guys, I made one fundamental mistake already today. Um, I drove to Belgium in my dad's van. It's not my car. You guys know that, that I've, I've, I've got my own car. Um, but because I was taking the lads, I, I took the van instead so I could nicely, nicely fit the bikes in. However, however, guys, one thing you need when you're going abroad is your passport. And I left my passport in his van. So that means I've got to drive to his work, go and get the passport out of the van and drive home. A completely wasted and pointless journey. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's my mistake, so I've got to do that. Oh, it's good to be back in the car. Been driving a van for the past few days, but we are back in the Beamer. Let's go and get me passport. Bosh, passport secured. So whilst I'm also out, I decided to come to uh, the car wash, the, the hand car wash that, that's near me. I've never been to one of these places ever in my life. Like I've always washed my car myself, but my time is pretty limited today and I want to get the car wash because it's looking filthy. I, I've always kind of been a little bit worried that they, I don't know, they'll scratch the car or something like with stones and sponges. But I looked on Google and the reviews for this place are maybe pretty good. So um, I'm going to get myself a car wash for seven pounds and we'll see how it looks. Mmm, soap. All the soap. Make my car nice and clean, please. Here we go, moment of truth. The guys have finished. I've just driven down the road and like pulled over into a little lay-by. Let's see. Let's, all right. All right. Um, all right. I mean, like, there's, there's obviously going to be, like, minor details that have been slightly missed, but you know what, guys? For six quid, for six quid, 
I'm not going to complain about this. It has saved me a good hour and a half, two hours of, uh, of cleaning. But it is looking. I mean, I'm sure from the camera it looks even cleaner than like it actually is. But that ain't bad, is it? That ain't bad. I'm actually pretty... Like, obviously, there's little bits here, for example, that kind of have been missed. And the usual, there's a couple of dead flies there that got missed. But uh, you know what? For six quid, guys, I am absolutely pretty happy with that i'm not going to complain one bit so to the uh to the i think they were romanian guys shout out to your faces i think it's called shiners uh shiners hand car wash in in burst in in rufford shout out to your faces i'm happy with that i will be returning no doubt it is a day of washing right now my clothes are washing the car is washed i've got my passport and now the next thing we need to do the next thing we need to do is wash the the wash my wash my bike actually also i need to put my my training wheels back in which means i need to put my cassette back on my training wheels because the bike is coming that with me uh t tomorrow okay. down to london i'm doing a photo shoot i don't want to say who we're just yet you're gonna have to wait and stay tuned in the vlog but i need my bike for said photo shoot and then on friday i'm gonna get i'm catching a plane where i'm gonna need the bike and the bike box so first things first let's clean the bike bosh sick sick one uh the bike is looking a little bit fresher a little bit fresher right now uh and it is ready it's ready to go on some adventures starting guys with a trip tomorrow morning with monica down to london just waiting for my kit and my clothes to dry. Then I'm going to repack my suitcase. And uh, yeah, I need to head to Monica's this afternoon at some point. All right, let's keep things moving. I mean, like the vlog today probably isn't the most interesting. And it might not seem like I'm doing a whole lot. I'm doing quite a lot of stuff off the camera, just organizing and preparing and getting stuff ready. Uh, but yeah, right now, let's continue doing that. We're back in the field with the doggies and the famous gypsy horses. Hello, mate. What are you saying? You all right? Yeah, good chat. Just giving the woofers a decent little walk before I head off and uh, leave leave for another few weeks. That's just one thing like I don't like about traveling is just having to leave. Is having to leave the dogs, man. I love traveling. I love getting out and about, and I love going to different places and, and doing things and seeing things. But I don't love leaving Lexi. I mean, how can you? Just look at her. Look at her. She's so she's so well behaved. She's just sitting there nice and patiently for me to throw a stick. So I'm back home from the dog walk, just pick packing up the car, man. And um, it's looking pretty full. In an ideal situation, I'd just have the bike in the bike box, obviously. Um, so it saves a lot more space. But I need the bike tomorrow in London, uh, which doesn't require the bike box. But then when I get back from London, I require the bike in the bike box. Anyway, guys, it is time to start the new adventure. And that commences with mission number one, which is simply drive the one hour journey to Monica's house. Ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of an update. We're now at Monica's house. Uh, actually, I'm now in Macclesfield. We're at Tesco in Macclesfield. Here she comes, icon of fashion, hoodie, joggers and slides. <laughs> On tonight's menu, Thai food from Chili Banana Macclesfield. What are you saying? How does it smell? Really good. Oh no, that's really good. <laughs> I can't even smell it. My car smells. I think what my car does smell. The bloody air freshener from the. Mm, I can smell. I can smell. I can smell coconut. Didn't you order coconut? Yeah, coconut rice. Oh yes, we have got here some coconut rice, a little bit of chicken, sweet and sour, some tomatoes. No, not tomatoes. Some peppers. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's got a uh, what's that? Pad Thai. Pad Thai with some noodle. No, oh, thank no. you. Yeah. How's it oh. taste? Oh, is that? Does that taste good? That's lime. Oh, okay. Not not peanut. It's not peanut. It is P nut. space pores nuts. <laughs> P pores nut. That's like that scene of Bora. My suit is black. Pause nut. This suit is black. Pause nut. All right, I'm going to test the coconut rice. I mean, it's not the best coconut rice I've ever had, but it's, it's pretty it's good. Yeah, it's no, that's the issue. It's not coconutty enough. Now, a bit of chicken, sweet and sour, Thai style sweet and sour chicken. That's better. That's better. All right, editing this video right now, sat in the passenger seat of my car. My lovely girlfriend is driving. I forgot to film an outro last night. We are currently on our way to the London Ting 
it's a London thing, 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 thing. Anyway, uh, you're gonna have to stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. We're on our next adventure, we're on our next mission. So stay tuned for that, guys. But for today, that is the end of today's video. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, it helps out massively with the channel. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you tomorrow at the same usual time of 5 p.m. Peace!